Oh boy. What's up, B Culture? Ella Peer. Let's talk about it. Fender Personas Studio One has somehow gained collaboration with TuneCore. Oh my. I would love transparency. That's the first thing from companies like that, but I understand the leak, the legality behind some of these things you can't really come forward and mention some things so i'm gonna assume that fender knows what they're doing they are a beast in this industry right now you know what i mean but as of right now from a user standpoint someone who is not sitting on, on the other side like they are and having those conversations that they are having, having those meetings. You know, it's not looking good on his end because there has been some negative, some negative, yeah. TuneCore is probably not the best, the best company to go with when you want to release your music. Now, I am not speaking from experience, so I cannot go there with you guys. I, I can't say, I can't prove anything. I'm just going off of speculations. But my speculations is a comprise of several videos that I watched from other artists who went through some of these things and they're posting and they're speaking on some of these things. They are even saying to the point that TuneCore is a scam. And just like you and me, anyone that's in this world looking for something, you know, to move forward with whatever the, the, their desires are, they usually look up reviews on the product or whatever. You know, if it's meeting a person, they usually ask around about that person just to make sure that that person meets the standards of what you are professing. You know what I mean? So, look for validation, right? That's what we do. And if I'm looking to release my music and I see a bunch of videos popping on where people are saying that they are releasing or trying to move forward, release, releasing their music under TuneCore and they're getting denied or blocked for whatever our reasons, and then they go to other platforms, I don't know if I want to say their name because that'll be like, like, bruh. It makes me look like I'm promoting something other than other, but I'm I'm okay. Let me go backwards, I guess. When I got started in this industry releasing music, I used to use I started with CD Baby. They were my choice. It was kind of a big thing. They were like you know, they, they were they were different. They were one company, it was another one. It was a some somebody else. I can't remember the name, but it was like either you go to CD Baby or you go with this company. It was like two of them at that time. Now, CD Baby was cool, you know, at that time when I was releasing music, but you had to pay for every upload. So whether it was a single or whether it was an album, you had to pay for it each time. The caveat to that is that once you do that, your music is just there forever right i i can't tell you yeah some of my, my music is still with cd baby and i'm not paying a yearly subscription or anything to keep that music up there if i was to go back in there i don't know what the what the deal would be like you know to get it on more platforms th there may be a subscription to do that i don't know but i remember the day when tunecore came on the scene and their deal was to pay a yearly subscription to keep your music on the platform. If, if in the event that you didn't do that, your music comes down, you know what I mean? Which sucked. And then there was like this thing about like how much royalties you get versus like cd baby i think it was like 70 30 at the time you pay to get your music up 70 30 
and then TuneCore, you might get a little bit more money back, but you pay a yearly deal. That was kind of like the trade-off. And I didn't really like that. I didn't care for that. I, I, I knew a couple of people who, who did that. And I'm like, bro, you know, it. I don't know if it makes sense if you go that route because you may be spending more money to keep your music on there than what you're making and what you're selling. You know, just doing the math in my head was trying to make sense out of it. And that, and that was that, and, and you know, and then over time, I, I heard some things, you know, just years later, heard some things about two and core, you know, and, and I, you know, when I hear those things, I'm like, well, I don't use two core, so I guess it don't affect me, you know, but that's horrible how, you know, something like this is, is, um, affecting some people. Some people are not able to get the results that they thought they was paying for. And so when... <laughs> when studio one when i seen the, the studio one 6.6 .6 release and the collaboration deal um and like like others i'm like oh okay i ain't think nothing of it at the time you know and i signed up for the first time I'm like well you know i'm a studio one user and there's like a deal and like they collaborate you know in my mind i'm thinking okay I'm going to release something and just see how it goes, you know, see, you know, why not, you know, and they're preaching 50% off on their, on their site. Um, you know, if you was to go this route, I'm like, okay, all right, it's not too bad. And then, you know, there were some videos that started to, you know, you know, just make their placement under my feet. And then I start watching those videos and then. I'm like, oh, okay. You know how it is when you searching for stuff. You you know, you mention things and you know, AI, you know, your phone and whatever. It's technology out here. Every every everybody, everything is listening to you. You know, and so stuff just right. So when that happened, then I started learning a little bit more, and I'm like, okay, hold on, this is not good. Again, I just have a feeling that Fender knows what they're doing, and I'm not putting all of my faith in them like, like I'm a fanboy or anything like that. But what I'm trying to say is, I feel like for a company of that size, and just by watching how they move so far, I want to say they know this. They, they probably are aware and maybe they're going to inquire. I'm just speaking. I, I don't know anything. No one had a conversation with me and I'm speaking like this because I don't have any, you know, contracts um, in terms of just being free about what I feel, you know, about stuff like this. And if I knew about this, I probably would have never said nothing. But I'm, you know, I'm just being the normal Ella, you, you guys know how we are on these videos. We just be speaking possibilities, you know, what ifs, what if that, you know, that type of thing. But I'm just thinking like how all this was playing, pan out. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to be too quick to bash Fender, Personas, Studio One or Tomb Core. I mean, people are doing that though. Tune Core has a bad rep right now. Tune Core is not looking good. There's a there's a lot of there's a lot of, of of horrible experiences that people are experiencing and they are uploaded to to YouTube or whatever. So I don't know if, if that is a good idea to it, it, again, I don't have personal experience, so don't come for me. Please don't come for me. If you have great experience with Tune Core, that's great. You can speak your piece and say, man, I never experienced that. This is new news to me. Or you can be like, well, I hear about these things, but I've never experienced them. And that's great as well. But again, for someone who's searching for anything that satisfies the purpose that I'm that I am, you know, moving forward towards. 
I would be one of those ones looking at these videos and say, nope, I'm, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm not going to go that route. Now, like I say, I used CD Baby in the past, but when I discovered DistroKid, I have had a better experience. Well, not better experience, but I have not had any issues with DistroKid. The only, the only, the only issues I have with this was kid is like unlike CD Baby, you know, like I said, you gotta pay for each upload, but your music is there forever. And perhaps it might be something different, like I say, for the newer platforms, like how your music on TikTok, Instagram, you know, places like that. And that might be a different situation. I have to go back in here online and search and see if anything changed from the last time I've been in there. First of all, I have to remember my account numbers and passwords and stuff like that. That's 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 a whole nother situation. But with DistroKid, you pay the yearly subscription to have an account with them and you can upload as much music as you want all year long, as much as you want. You start to pay a little bit extra on each upload when you go after certain services. I think like to have a what is it a Shazam which I think is crazy I think Shazam should, should be included but however Shazam is something that's separate so if you want your music to be searchable through Shazam say that five times fast <laughs> um, you know somebody shopping at a Walmart or at macy's or i don't know you know some store that they usually play you know cool music in the background you in there you bobbing you shopping you know picking up your you know eggs and whatever and they like, hold on who's that you telling your phone to search for that phone search for that song that you hear so you can save it to your playlist and you listen to it later right you know if you want that experience then you pay the extra cost to have that type of technology attached to your music and i think to have it um there is definitely an extra cost to make your music available on newer platforms as it becomes available you know something pop up they automatically add it there there is a you know what i mean like stuff little stuff like that that's the only thing that I don't like about Digital Kid, the extra fees. You know, there is also another fee that you have to pay to leave your music there forever. Something that CD Baby does automatically, I think. But again, I have to double check, but that's what it was. My music that I released back in 2018 is still there with no problems. I don't pay CD Baby nothing. As a matter of fact, there was like a little balance in there, you know, and I just left it there. You know, one day I'll get it or whatever. But, you know, something from back then, it's not doing that well in, in terms of sales because I don't really push it. It's like some of my first work, you know what I mean? I, I you know, ain't really proud about that, you know. Anyway, that this is amazing this is amazing and and not necessarily in a good way i don't mean it in a good way this this is like wow this is this is amazes me that so it, like fender if if the, if you guys have something some like we need explanation like what is going on like why would y'all connect with the company that has a bad rep right now or maybe they're just gonna buy buy them up. Did I say that? Maybe this is gonna buy them up. Maybe there's new management. Maybe there's I don't know. Maybe something changed with TuneCore, where things are better now, and that's when Fender took the plunge and went for it. Maybe that's what it is. But right now, you know what I mean, like. Not right now. May, like maybe something from TuneCore where maybe I didn't 
I didn't find any videos that maybe perhaps Toon Court announced that they're on the new management and they apologize for these type of things. Or maybe they just keeping everything, you know, as the hush, sweep it up under the rug. Ain't nobody got to know about it. I don't know, man. But this is a big deal, you know. If if you're making TuneCore as a part of the core system of Studio One, where we work on precious music all day, we spend countless hours sweat blood tears a lot of money if you will to make the cool sounds that we make and release it on TuneCore and then get a bad experience based on some of the floating videos currently or maybe there is some type of agreement that is catered specially crafted specially special for studio one users like if you upload your music through studio one maybe there's an alert or maybe it's generated differently like hey people that upload their music through studio one we pay them close very close attention and we treat them like royalty maybe that's the thing maybe maybe that's how Fender is able to get by without explaining why they're connecting with a company that's had that's getting and gro- getting a growing bad rep right now. You know what I mean? Like everybody may not know about TuneCore. TuneCore is kind of like a grandfather company, if you will. It's like CD Baby. CD Baby. I knew about CD Baby first, and then I don't know when TuneCore. It's possible that TuneCore could have been. The first that came out before CD Baby, but the one I found out about was CD Baby. TuneCore was like something that happened later on. They were kind of like a distro kid, so to speak, like the new kid on the block. They're doing something different than CD Baby because it was CD Baby and another company kind of doing something similar. But it was just the the alternative of, of going with them instead. Maybe there was a price difference. I can't remember the name of that, that company, but I chose CD Baby because... They were doing seminars and stuff like that. I went to one of the seminars before and they were just doing some some cooler things to me. It was like more of like how uh, I can't remember the guy name at the time, but the founder or the president, like the way that he was present in the community and he was on some of the, a lot of the videos. And, you know, when he speak, it was coming from you know a really cool genuine place he's a musician himself and he's speaking on experience and blah 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 i can't remember once yeah i can't remember the guy's name i know what he looks like i think it was his face on this on the the logo when it when it first no nah, it, it was a baby on the logo i'm tripping maybe it was his baby picture i don't know <laughs> but uh you know if you look up the old CD Baby logo, it was a it was a CD with a baby in the middle. I think they changed that. It was interesting, but um, yeah, I just wanted to come on here real quick just to speak my mind, speak my truth about about that. I, you know, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Let me know if 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 you are a TuneCore member or you were thinking about it or this your first time hearing about it and like what's your thoughts about all of this and you know just keep a conversation going I, I would like to do more research on it or maybe this video will just craft a some type of explanation from fender or personas or whatever maybe they could come on they, they and they have commented to some of my stuff a few you know a few times in the, in the past Maybe you can enlighten us on what's really going on. I have a community that I feel like I'm responsible for here on YouTube. And I'm reporting these things as a concern of mine. And I know it's a concern with a lot of you guys that are watching my videos and, and whatnot. I will most likely probably do a live stream with 6.6 because I have some thoughts <laughs> on that. After we have not seen an update in a while and yeah 
this is this stuff is getting really interesting now and again i think most most of all if it's possible like there there needs to be some type of representative from from the camp that you know fender that that can speak to us and and hold these conversations being transparent and letting us know some things and what you know maybe like the direction and where they're heading or blah blah blah, blah whatever maybe i'm just talking out the side of my of my mouth and like wishful thinking hoping something that will never come to pass because you complain too much i don't know or, or maybe that's how they feel like you know what we're just gonna give them what we think you know i'm trying to stay away from that but that's just kind of how i feel and that's how, that's that's been what has been like the stuff we've been asking for for years is has slowly become something they re release in their product like one of the things and i'm gonna keep saying it i guess one of the things we've been crying about is an advanced sample engine please update impact sample one to a more advanced you know <laughs> when we talk logic pro their sampler engine is more way more advanced that thing is doing things this is incredible i guess i'll include it in as much video as i can maybe personas can i don't know go back to drama like look we need to release this sample thing and it, it, i feel like there's a lot of you guys has been asked for the same thing note effects what's up with the note effects can we can we get updated note effects why is the note effects the same it's been like that since forever we've recently got a ds -er, and i'm like wow that should have been but we got it you know what i mean we got it cool i love it having something by default that you know stuff like that like just like utility tools you know what i mean like things that just like if you're going to be a dog company or doll software like it would feel weird really really weird if there was no eq no compressors no reverbs you know what i mean it would feel really weird right like like what is this how do you call yourself a doll you know what i mean if those things were absent people would make a big uproar the de-esser is like one of those you can probably create a series and that's what they've been showing us for years a series of plugins that can create the same result well how about just give us a de-esser what's so hard about that you know what i mean we got an eq we got a compressor we got a couple of reverbs just give us a deal call it a de-esser and you know we'll be good to go and then we got updated course you know course the the coarser course um we got another delay and an updated reverb i think it's reverb 2.0 you know what i mean like it's the updated version you know how like the eq eq pro 2 you know with now that it has dynamic dynamic um um equal you know equalizing you, you, you know what i mean the dynamic section I'm trying to explain it but basically you can nudge out certain frequencies when it hits a certain threshold bam you know so that's the, the updated eq but <laughs> the note effects was not you know it's like stuff like that when when that gets missed how do you it's like are they really focusing on a pr okay let me stop let me stop let me stop let me stop we were talking about tune core and um i'm about to go down a deep rabbit hole but um i'm gonna stop myself right there i hope you guys heard what i said i hope it made sense you know i'm not trying to start any issues or 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 none of that I, i'm not that guy but it is a concern and i wanted you know to bring it to the forefront and make sure you guys are aware of what's going on i will still 
upload my music through DistroKid. And I'll have a, a diff affiliate link in the description, of course. Why not? It only makes sense. He talking about TuneCore. Or if I had a... Nah. I would shoot myself in the foot if I had a Philly link with two and quote right. Like, <laughs> but anyway, Ella, B culture, lifestyle governed by art.